Hi there, Birthday Caster here and welcome to my YouTube channel. I hope you're having a great day. Now in my last reaction video, I showed you guys my custom pair of in-ear monitors. So in this video, I will talk about them more in depth and tell you all about the company that makes them, Me Audio Professional. If you're new here, I invite you to hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell. I regularly upload content centered on guitars and music from gear demos to tour vlogs to lessons and all sorts of other fun stuff. One of the issues that plague performing musicians is how to hear each other. Now, as a guitar player, my spot on stage is usually in front of my guitar amp. So in that spot, I hear a lot of my guitar, a little bit of the others, and usually none of the vocals. Now the usual solution to that is to have monitor speakers in front of the performer. These are speaker cabinets shaped like wedges that are placed in front of the stage. And their job is to send back a little bit of the sound uh, to the performer so that they can hear each other. And for the most part, this is a good solution as long as you have a good mix engineer. And if the venue or the stage is big enough so that there's separation between the instruments. However, a lot of speakers on stage plus live microphones don't really mix well, uh, especially if you have a mix engineer who doesn't know what he's doing. So in bad scenarios, the performer and the audience are subjected to these ear splitting, high pitched microphonic squeals or feedback as we know them from the microphones interacting with loudspeakers. And even if the monitors are turned up loud and pointed straight at you, if it's a bad monitor mix, you really don't hear much of anything else anyway. Now the next monitoring solution comes in the form of these things instead of those bulky speaker wedges uh, placed in front of the stage. Now if you've watched your favorite artist's concert footage, then you may have already noticed a lot of them use these uh, in-ear monitors during their concerts. And that's because in-ear monitors solve a lot of issues. It declutters the front of the stage by replacing those clunky monitor wedges. And since these are fed directly into your ear, you have more control over volume and the mix, giving you a better picture of how everybody sounds on stage. Now the general impression is that when you're an amateur just starting out performing live, you'll just have to accept the fact that you won't hear much of anything. And if you do get monitors, you will just have to live with microphonic feedback and bad monitor mixing. And that these in-ear monitors are just reserved for the uber professionals who headline shows performing arenas and stadiums only. Now, Mi Audio aims to dispel that notion by offering these great sounding yet highly affordable in-ear monitors plus a variety of customization options as well. Now what sets in-ear monitors apart from your regular earbuds that come with your phone are the components and the design that go into each one of these things. Now inside these in-ears are drivers, which you can think of as tiny little speakers that will fit into these small enclosures. And the conventional thinking is that the more drivers that you can fit into these enclosures, the better the in-ear is. In fact, I've read that there are in-ear monitors that have up to eight drivers <laughs> inside each one. And that's, that's kind of nuts. And with the MX Pro series, Mi Audio challenges that convention by offering fewer drivers that are efficiently incorporated into the in-ears design to fulfill a specific role and purpose. The MX-1 Pro is a great introduction to the MX Pro series as a great sounding single driver in-ear monitor. The MX-2 Pro ups the ante with two drivers, one dedicated to the low end and the other dedicated to the high end and is geared towards bass players and drummers and anyone else who needs to hear a lot of low-end information. Listening to music on the MX2s is quite an experience because the subtones actually feel like they're crawling through my head from one ear to the next. <laughs> the MX3 Pro has three drivers, one for the low-end, one for the mid-range, and another for the high-end, which gives it a flatter frequency response and makes it ideal for guitar players and sound mixers. Finally, the MX4 Pro has four drivers, one for the lows, one for the mid-range, 
and two drivers for the high end. This is ideal for vocalists and sound mixers who want to hear an extended high end frequency range. Okay, let's dive right in and let me show you what you'll get out of the box. Okay, so this is the MX4 Pro. Okay, so nice packaging right here. And take that sleeve off. And when we open the box, yeah, the carrying pouch plus an extra cable. Now let's open up the pouch. And here we reveal these are the in ear monitors, another cable, and some ear tips. And of course, if you're a musician or a DJ, you will <laughs> instantly recognize the significance of this adapter. This is an eighth inch to quarter inch adapter so that you can interface these in ear monitors with any audio device. And these have a habit of disappearing. So it's great that you get one of these as well. Now the reason why you get two cables is that one is a regular headphone type uh, cable and then the other actually has a volume control and microphone built in along with a three terminal eighth inch jack. That way even if you're traveling you can still enjoy the sound quality from these in-ears but using this cable plugged into your phone. And if somebody calls you then you can answer the call without too much trouble. Okay, let me take these out of the case and give you a closer look. So here they are out of the box. They look like your typical earbuds, but I assure you they are a step above. Now the tips I have right now on there are the foam ones that expand as you uh, plug them into your ear, similar to uh, the foam that you get with your regular drugstore earplugs. Uh, you can exchange these with different sizes depending on what's comfortable for you and you get uh, these extra silicone uh, earbud tips that you can experiment with. Now at this point you may be thinking it's cool that you have two cables but how do you get the in-ears from one cable to the next? Well let me show you. The MX Pros are modular so meaning you can take them apart. So you can take it out of this cable and just install it into the next cable, taking care that you are plugging the correct, <laughs> the correct piece to the correct side. There it is. Now this is very cool because if something happens and something breaks, then you don't have to commit to buying an entirely new unit and you just have to replace whatever is broken. So for example, after heavy extensive use, this cable becomes faulty. So all you need to do is take the in-ear pieces out, toss this cable, and attach it to a new cable. That also applies if something happens to the in-ear itself. In my one of my old in-ears, I was taking the tip out and I broke the plastic thing that holds it. And since everything wasn't modular, I had to toss the whole thing and just get a new pair. However, with the MX Pros, you have the option to buy just the in-ear so that you can use those new ones with everything else that you already have. And here's another cool thing as well. This is a Bluetooth adapter for these in-ears. Okay, So you can just take out the in-ear tips, get your Bluetooth adapter, and again, make sure that you are attaching the correct side to the correct terminal. There we go. And now you have your great sounding wireless travel uh, music listening solution. <laughs> this Bluetooth adapter is great because not only does it have all the volume and uh, mode controls on one side, the cable is balanced on both sides. That way, when you wear it around your neck, one side is not heavier than the other because of this plastic thingy. It has three listening modes, the normal, then there's bass boost, and there's voice specific in case, let's say you're watching a movie on your phone or iPad or whatever. It easily pairs via Bluetooth to any device. Plus it has great battery life. It lasts up to eight hours on a single charge. So this is a must have 
accessory. Now out of the box, these MX Pro in-ear monitors are ready to rock. However, Mi Audio also offers some customization options. An option that you can get are custom molded silicone ear tips, such as these. Now to get these custom molds, you'd have to go to an audiologist who will take an impression of the inside of your ear canal and send that info over to Mi Audio so that they can make these custom molds for you. However, if you are able to get to Southern California, you can just set an appointment and visit the Mi Audio offices for them to take a scan of your ear. It was a painless and non-invasive process and it was such a trip to see my, the image of the inside of my ear uh, slowly show up on the computer screen in front of me. How's that? That's freaky, man. <laughs> See, that's my ear. <laughs> right there. And with these custom molds, you are ensured a perfect fit of your in-ears to your own ear. And having these ear tips fit the inside of your ear perfectly allows for maximum sound isolation so that whatever you hear through your in-ears are not colored by whatever sound is happening uh, around at the same time. And as you can see, it is very streamlined and does not look funky at all. Unlike previous model in-ears with custom molded tips that look like uh, you have a piece of flesh covering uh, the outside of your ears. And if I let my hair down, then the illusion is complete and you, you won't even know that I'm wearing these. Now the second customization option is more of a vanity thing. On the side of these MX Pros are little face plates that are held in place by a magnet. And the stock face plate has the Mi Audio logo on it, like so. And you can easily take these off. And you can replace it with a faceplate that has a custom laser etched engraving on it. So like this faceplate right here has my logo on it. Very cool. So all these customization options are available for your MX Pro in-ears. For my purposes, I chose the MX3 Pro and the MX4 Pro. And since getting these from Mi Audio, I have put them through and used them in a variety of situations. From recording sessions, to local club gigs with my band Rock Stallion, to big stages such as the Fonda Theater in Hollywood, California during the River Maya US tour. In fact, I love these in-ears so much that I gave my Apple AirPods to my son and used these in-ears exclusively for all my music listening and reference. Needless to say, the sound quality is very, very good. You can hear all the details with excellent separation and depth, which allows you to immerse yourself in whatever it is you're listening to. In live situations, I have come to trust these in-ears to dial in my guitar sound, so I am assured that I am sending great guitar tone to the front of house mixer every time. And since I have my MX Pros with me at all times, I also use them as my reference monitors for on-the-go audio and video editing. So at this point, it is obvious that I am very happy with my MX Pros from Mi Audio, and I highly recommend them. So if you've always wanted to get into the world of in-ear monitoring, but the cost has always put you off, then I invite you to check out the entire MX Pro series on the Mi Audio website, pro.miaudio.com and I am sure that you will be pleasantly surprised at how affordable and attractive the pricing is. And to sweeten the deal even further, use the coupon code PERFECTO at checkout so that you'll get 10% off your entire order from the Mi Audio website. There you have it. I hope you found this video interesting and helpful. Let me know what you think in the comments section below. And if you dug this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up like, share it with your friends, and again, do subscribe if you haven't yet. I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers, and be good humans.